So the 4 node fan smart switch from Dingxi arrived today. Here is a brand new unit from Dingxi, a 4 node smart Wi-Fi switch with fan regulator. This is compatible with your existing switches and can be controlled manually via physical switches. Or it can also be controlled through the Dingxi app or via voice through Google Home and Alexa. Inside the box you get the smart switch with Dingxi branding. This one is a 4 node smart switch with the inbuilt fan regulator. At the bottom you have the reset button in red. Right next to it is a status LED indicator. At the top you have two sets of terminals in black and green. The black ones connect to your existing switches. From the left the first terminal connects to the fan switch. The rest three can control things like bulb tube or any 5 amp device. The two terminals in the center, the left one is to be connected to the neutral and the right one is to be connected to the face. Right next to it are the load terminals or where the wire from your devices connect. Load one should always be your fan or else the regulator function will not work. The other three terminals could be a bulb tube, smart TV or any other 5 ampere load. Here is a connection diagram provided by the company. Pause to have a closer look. The company also provides you with detailed step-by-step -step instructions for connection and initial setup. Before you start, you will need a couple of wires. One for the phase line, one for neutral and four wires to connect the smart switch to the existing switches. In my case, I'm using yellow wires to connect the switches and I'm using color insulation tape to mark each of these wires so that I don't mix them up. You can always use different color wires. I'm using heavier gauge wires for the line which is blue and neutral which is black. So let's quickly open up the switchboard and see how to connect the wires. The common open copper wire you see is the line or the phase wire. As you can see it always carries current. The neutral wire is usually connected to the socket. The wire other than the phase wire on your switch is the load wire that connects to the devices. In my case, they are green and red wires. It may be different on your switchboard. So check before you proceed. So I have finished connecting the wires. The blue wire connects to the common copper wire or the phase line. Please make sure that you switch off your electrical power before you connect the phase and the neutral lines. The black wire here is connected to the neutral line on the socket. These here are the load wires. They are connected to your devices. The yellow wire connects your smart switch to the physical switch on its switchboard. Like I mentioned, first load should always be the fan or the regulator function will not work. After powering on the device, you will see the green status LED glowing. This means there is power to the smart switch. Before you proceed, press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds to put the smart switch into pairing mode. Once in pairing mode, the status LED will glow every 2 seconds. Now on your phone, search for the Tingsy app in your app store and install it. If this is the first time using the app, you can sign up using either your Google account or via SMS and OTP. On the app, click on get started by adding a device. If the switch is in pairing mode, select the AP method. Once the switch is discovered, Connect the phone Wi-Fi connection to the switch. It should be called Tingsy followed by a few numbers. Now in the menu, select the 2.4 GHz network and enter the Wi-Fi password. The app will connect your smart switch to your home Wi-Fi network. Now from the phone's Wi-Fi setting, connect back to the 2.4 GHz network. Set a name to your smart switch. Select the type of load and name each node as per your requirement and click on done. You should now be able to see all four nodes on your screen. 
you can click on the switch to toggle the device's power. On the fan mode, click on the icon and you can set the speed of the fan between low, medium and high. You can also toggle other three devices using the app. To set up control via Google, go to Google Home app on your phone. Click on the plus symbol on the top left corner. Select setup device. Select works with Google. Now search for Tingsy. Click on continue to link the account. Login via your Google account or using SMS and OTP and in few seconds the account linking should be complete. Go back to the main screen on your Google Home app and you should now see the four switches on your app home screen. Click on the name to switch it on or off. You can also control it via Google Assistant. Okay, turning my room punker off. To control via Alexa, open the Amazon Alexa app on your smartphone. Select more from the bottom right corner of your screen. Click on skills and games and search for Tingsy. Click on enable to use. Link your Google account with Tingsy. Once done, you should be able to see the devices under all devices. You can toggle the switch to on or off via the Alexa app. You can also control it via voice similar to Google Assistant. The best thing about these smart switches is that you can control via the physical switch on your switchboard. Now since the fan is on and the switch is in off position, I just need to turn the switch on and turn it off. As there was not enough room, I removed the fan regulator and stuck the smart switch inside the switchboard using two-sided tape. I will be adding a sticker to cover up this open space. Full disclosure, I had ordered the Tingsy smart switch a few weeks back from Amazon. Though the unit worked fine for the first few hours, Alexa, switch off hall fan. Okay. It soon malfunctioned and wasn't responding to any input. I returned the unit and received a full refund. Last week, Tingsy support got in touch with me and inquired about the faulty unit. The issue was narrowed down to a faulty relay unit on the unit that I had received. He insisted on sending me a test unit to install and check. This is the same unit I received today. Please see, I have not paid for this particular device and I will need to return it if and when asked for it. As for my primary observations, the unit is working without any hiccups. Most of the 4 node smart switches come with external fan regulator and usually cost at least a grand more. This is the only smart switch I found with an inbuilt regulator. In case you like this device and are interested in buying it, I will leave a link to their website in the description below. Thank you for watching and take care.